For the last 23 years, Fairfielders have been marking off the last Sunday in September on their calendars for one of their favorite events, the Bigelow Tea Community Challenge 5K race. So on that crisp Sunday morning, we hit the streets of downtown Southport to see what the buzz was all about. Since 1988, the Bigelow Tea Company has sponsored this community race. Cindy Bigelow, CEO of the Fairfield-based company, took a quick break from her busy pre-race setup to tell us more about the mission of this exciting fundraiser. Hi, I'm Heather Rowe with Biz Buzz TV. I'm here with Cindy Bigelow for the Bigelow Tea Community Challenge Race. How are you? I'm doing awesome. This is a great day for me and for everybody in our company. We look forward to this day all year long. It's a great event here, and you raise money for local charities? Yeah, we, we raise it all for local charities. Basically, we look for an organization where our check whether it's three to $10,000, will make a difference. So we go for smaller budget charities that really can touch the lives of those that live around here. It's very cool. And about how many runners do we have here signed up today? Um, we'll probably have up to 600 runners. Wow. We'll have about 250 walkers, and we'll, if you know, God's on our side, we'll have about 200 children. So that's why we say it's about a thousand people that we are able to sort of touch the lives in this community to participate and enjoy this day. And it's so local. It's right in Southport. So it's a wonderful event. Thank you so I'm much. Very Cindy. proud. Thank you guys. Really appreciate it. On your mark, get set, go. Hosting kids' fun runs and a walking course creates room for people of all ages and of all fitness levels to contribute to the challenge. Even our four-legged friends got a piece of the action. On your mark, set, go! What also attracts people is that the 5K course is a scenic route around Southport. Justin McGregor, the winner of the 5K, told us about his favorite part of the race. Going by the water and everything was beautiful. There's people out on bikes going by, uh, rooting me on and stuff. It was just a very good experience. Amy Fredericks, the first place woman finisher, also had some kind words to say about the race. It was just a great cause, beautiful day. We had a great turnout and it was just so much fun. I'm very happy. Uh, Hi, I'm Bob Stevenson. I'm the president of the Milford Roadrunners and the manager of the Woodbridge Running Company. And these, these are my people. And we had a great race today. Uh, it was a very nice course and uh, I come to it every year and Bigelow does a really nice job on it and we as runners appreciate it. My name's Caroline and I won first place in my age group today. I love the Bigelow race. Even if you don't place in your age group, everyone has a chance to win some great raffle prizes donated by the sponsors. Hi, my name is Kay and I'm here with my family and I just won this bike at the Bigelow Tea Race. So next year, if you're thinking about coming, you really should because it's fun. This race really encompasses the meaning of community. The employees of Bigelow Tea organize it and volunteer at it every year. I'm right here with two members of our race committee, Linda DiStefano and Dean Hurst. And Linda, how many years have you been on our race? 18 years. So how does it go like when you get on a race committee, this race committee, what happens? You never get off. That's very true, you don't ever get off. But we love the event, right Dean? How long have you been on the committee? I've only been on for six years, so I'm a new guy. You've only been on for six years because how long have you lived in Fairfield with us? Uh, six years. Yeah, that's why he's only been on for six years. And how long do you think you'll be on? Uh, till life. Till I die. That's about it. Jeff, Warren, Jim, and Mary Ellen from the Pequot Running Club showed their support. We have been doing this race uh, since it started. It was a great course. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was smooth. Um, I really enjoyed the new course this year. Well, I've been doing this. In fact, uh, this morning I found a shirt from Big Little Tea of 1999. I was going to wear it, but I, it was kind of warm today. But it fell apart. Uh, it fell apart, yeah. <laughs> I think that could be the reason. In fact, everyone seemed to be enjoying themselves. Yeah, I'm going to do it again. Definitely, I'll be back next year. First time doing it, and it won't be my last. And this is our first time doing the Bigelow T race. We're from Reading. It was a wonderful race. We had a great time, lots of fun, great camaraderie. We can't wait to do it again. This year, the event raised $95,000, a record which is a tribute to the wonderful sponsors and people who joined in. And for all of you who missed this year, Cindy and race director Marty Chavone had some inspirational words. There's nothing like it. When it says community challenge, it really it, it serves the community like no other race that I know. So listen, this isn't just for runners and walkers. This is for the whole community. So if you want to have a fun morning, you come here next year. I know you will love it.
And if you do want to be a runner and you haven't been, this is the place to go if you haven't run a race before. It's a great learning experience. And then from here, your whole life will change. <laughs> Forever. And don't miss out on some local upcoming races, such as the Saugatuck Rowing Club 5K Race for Parkinson's on October 16th, as well as the Great Pumpkin Classic at Trumbull High School on October 17th, and don't forget the Pequot Runners Thanksgiving Day Race in Southport.